hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up your workforce es50 portable document scanner on your computer so what you can do you need to initially set up your scanner if this is a brand new scanner you can follow the installation guide that you got with the scanner with the brand new scanner so this is how the installation guide will look like so this is a basic scanner uh, you can connect it with the usb cable so um, you can see this uh, instruction here so follow the instruction and then power on your scanner and now you need to download the software in your computer in order to use the scanner from your computer to do that you need to visit epson.com website so when you go to the epson.com website you can see all these tabs up up there and click on the support tab and then click on the scanner to download the software for the scanner now here in the search box you need to type es and then 50 right so this is the scanner epson workforce es 50 we need to click on that one and now you need to click on the download tab here to uh, install the driver here so when you click on the download you need to choose your operating system here uh, this is the scanner and we need to let me refresh it here so the download tab is selected properly and uh, now you need to choose the operating system in my case it's windows 10 but if you have other than windows computer like windows 11 or uh, mac operating system so you can scroll down and you can see all the uh, different uh, operating system so you can pick your one and in my case I'm going to pick Windows 10 and then click go now you will see the driver will appear here we need to click on the download so it will start the downloading the driver in the browser at the top right corner um, so you can select the downloaded file double click on the downloaded file and follow the instruction on your computer so it will just take only one to two minutes to complete the download uh, installation of your scanner in the computer once it is done you can do the test scan and it will uh, start using the scanner so that's it i'll also provide you the link of the installation guide user guide and the driver in the video description if you have any question you can also type it in the below comment box so thank you so much for watching you have a nice day